So this one in particular, let's go to Xingyi for this one. Xingyi. Hi. Uh, how are you, Xingyi? Are you okay? I'm good. Very good. Would you like to have a go at this one? Okay. Take your time. N, okay, let's lock this in and let's check. So if you were to put the N in the middle, it would become tin. And then the second word will become note. So yes, Shingy, well done. And let's do the next one as well, Shingy. So this question is slightly new. So in the sentence below, there is a three lettered word which fits into or on the end of the word in capital letters. Identify the letters and choose the correct option. So we need to complete this particular sentence and we're just going to fit three letters in the capital letter section to make sure that word makes sense and our sentence is then completed fully. Way. Way, okay, so let's, let's check. So, uh, so if you were to put always so then we cancel a cancel l cancel s and there's your answer shingy way so well done way is correct good girl now let's have a go at this one as well shingy take your time if you need any help, please let me know. I I don't understand this one. Let's do this one together then, okay? Let's do this one together. So, um, so the man something, the burglar. Now, let's have a look. Uh, the man escaped the burglar? Does that make sense? No. No, no not quite. The man chased the burglar? Yes. Yeah, okay, let's just write that down and let's check if that's right. Okay, so cancel the C, cancel the E, cancel the D, and what word are we left with? Has. Uh, so the word has makes sense, and the man chased the burglar also makes sense. Was that okay? Yes. Well done, Chingy, thank you so much. And uh, let's move on to the next one. Let's go to Hafsa for this one. Excuse me. Hello, Hafsa. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good. Are you okay? Good girl. So, this one, um, we ate the something beginning with S and mash. Um, Sausages. You, say that one more time. Sausages. Okay, let's see if that makes sense. So we ate the sausages and mash. Okay, so let's just write that down. Uh, sausages, so let's cancel S, let's cancel A, let's cancel U, let's cancel the two S's at the end. The reason I do this is because it kind of, you know, you can, once you cancel them, then you end up with these uh, letters that you can actually make a word with. So what word do we have left over, Hafsa? Age. Age. So that makes sense, doesn't it? We ate the sausages and mash. So let's go for C. Good. And have a look at this one as well, Hafsa. Okay. Take your time. I think we need to add we need to add the three letters at the beginning of the three capital letters that we got there. Okay. I don't understand this one. Okay, so you see this ing. Try and add these at the beginning and see if any of them make sense. Okay. See these four options? Try the first one. And Ending with the film. And the film, yeah, go on. Yeah, the, 
the film's ending was very scary. That makes sense, doesn't it? Let's try the next one. The film's bending was very scary. Does that make sense? No. The film's mending was very scary. Does that make sense? No. The film's patting was very scary. Does that make sense? No. So which one are we going to go for? End. End. Okay, so the film's ending was very scary. Well done for that, uh, Hafsa. Thank you so much. I'll try and come back to you afterwards, okay? Okay. Okay, thank you. And now we're moving on to the next ones. So let's go to uh, Shama for this one. Hello. Hi Shama, how are you? Good. Very good. Would you like to try this one? Um, I think it's A. A, okay. And what would that be then as a full sentence? The student didn't understand the man. The student didn't understand the man. Well done. Good girl. Now we're on to the new question, Gemma. So let's just read this together. In the two words given below, identify one letter from the first word, which can be removed and added to the second word to make two brand new words. So we need to take one letter from the left, any letter, add it on the right to make two brand new words. Um, I think it is L. L? Okay, let me just pop that in and check if that works then. So let's have a look. So if you were to take the L out from the first word, that will leave us with the word back. Okay, so that makes sense. And if you were to add the L here, so that makes belt, belt something that you wear around your waist to keep your trousers up. Um, so back and belt, yeah, looks good to me. Well done. So let's go with that option. And have another go at this one as well, Shama. Um, I think it is. P. P. Okay, let's lock that one in then. Let's try this. So spell is spelled with one L anyway. So if you were to take the L out, will that make sense? No. So let's get rid of that. And let's try the P that you mentioned. So cell. Okay, that makes sense, doesn't it? And let's try P. Where would you put the P, do you know? Um, next to the I. Okay, here, yeah. yeah, so Piper, so sell, when you sell something, Piper is somebody who can uh, play the bagpipes, the Scottish bagpipes, so we've got two brand new words here, so the letter that we're moving from the left to the right to make two new words is P, so that's good, Shema. Well done, and let's try one more, Shema. Um... I think it is R. R. Let's lock that in and let's check if that works. So, if you go, if you take the R out, it gives us bush. Okay, that's good. And then, if you were to put the R, would you like me to put it after the T? Um, yeah. Yeah. Let's try that. So tried, so we've got two brand new words here. So bush and tried, so that makes sense. So R is the letter that we were looking for. So well done for that. Very good, thank you so, so much, Emma. And we'll go on to the next one. And um, let's go to Aruj for this one. Hello, Aruj, hi there. So we just need to move one letter from the left of the word to the right, anywhere on the right, to make two brand new words. Okay. Would it be R? Let's, let's try then, Aruj. So if you were to take the R out of the word cart, that would give us cat. Okay, so that makes sense. Well done. And if we were to put the R, let's say here, and that will give us the word cramp. Do you know what cramp means? No. No? I, I don't know whether you've uh, ever had a cramp in your leg. 
sometimes it happens where your leg muscle stiffens up very quickly and that's what you and and you kind of you know maybe if you're lying down on your bed and you suddenly have to get up because you've just had a cramp or maybe if you're running or if you're walking sometimes you get this cramp in your muscle in your leg that's where the word cramp comes from as well okay so good so ours the correct answer there all well done um let's try another one will it be a uh, let's have a look at this one so if you were to get rid of the word the letter a let's write this down that will leave us with weld and then if you where, where shall i put the a with the second word after the e okay let's try that and that will give us weld and also beast so beast is like a like a monster and weld is when you're actually joining something together you're welding so weld and beast are correct so i would go for a yeah that's good Ruj. good girl thank you Ruj. and for the next question uh, in the sentence below a four letter word is hidden in two consecutive words now the word consecutive means one after another identify the two consecutive words that choose the correct option and choose the correct option so uh, two words right next to each other where we can actually make a four letter word so let me just quickly do this for you so let's for example go for the option b and and done okay and let me show you where the four letter word is just there so the word that we're making is the word done and it's in between and and one so you've got one letter on the left and three letters on the right hand side but it doesn't have to be in that particular order it can also be three letters on the left and one letter on the right or it could be two letters on the left and one, two letters on the right so there's no particular order but we're just trying to make sure that we can make a word from within the sentence okay good and uh, let's go to uh, Emily uh, for this next one. Hello, Emily. Hello. How are you? Good. Are you right? Yeah. Good girl. Okay, so uh, do you know what to do here, Emily? For this question? So we're looking for two words next to each other in this sentence so the car tire burst on the motorway but within those two particular words we're trying to find uh, a four letter word that makes sense so i'll give you a, i'll give you a clue for this one uh, try the last two words try the last two words Can you see anything here? Whereby you have three letters on the left and one letter on the right. In the last two words. Begins with, uh, begins with T. Yeah, let, let, me, let me show you. Let me help you with this. Can you make a word from here? Four letter word. Can you make a four letter word? Can you see here the word then? Yeah. Yeah. So what we've done is we're trying to make a four letter word all right uh in between two words um yeah. so consecutive means like the words are right next to each other okay so the and motorway is right next to each other and we've just found uh, a four letter word that we can make in between those two words and it's then does that make sense 
Good. So the and motorway will be the answer in this case. Let's try another one. Have a, have a look at this one. And it's going to be B. Can you make a word from B? So Bob and Led. Four letter word. What does this say here? Can you see that? Bled. Bled, yeah, which is like the past tense of blood. So if you if you bled, that means that you were bleeding. Is that okay? Good, so in this case, we're gonna go for the option B, all right? And let's try, let's try this one as well. So a clue for this one, I'll just put down. So it's like when you're cleaning yourself. You could be having a... Bath. Yeah, that's right. So there we go. So just there. All right. So bath. So uh, bat and hidden are the two words that we were looking for in this case. Okay. So is that all right, Emily? Good. Thank you. I'll come back to you in a few minutes. Okay. Uh, let's go to the next one. And let's go to Romesa for this one. Mm. Hello, Romesa. Are you right? Yeah. Would you like to have a go at this one? Yeah. Um, I think it would be um, the word would be dash. Dash. Okay. Yeah. yeah that looks good to me. So. Uh, which ones am I going to go for then? Which option? Had and Ash. Had and Ash. Okay, good. So we've got Dash there. That's good. Well done. Uh, so we just come on to a new question now, Mesa. So identify the two words, one from each group, that will complete the sentence in the best way. So weak is to something as friend is to something. Weak is to light. Friend is to mate. Weak is to light. So I think opposite of light will be heavy. So try something else. Weak is to, so if you're very weak, that means you can't lift much weight, maybe. And what's the opposite of weight? Oh, sorry, what's the opposite of weak? Heavy. Weak and strong. Strong. Okay, so we go for the first one, strong. Remember, the week in terms of the days and weeks is spelled W-W-E-K. So this W-E-A-K is a different spelling. And uh, as friend is to... So now, in this question, we've just worked out that we're looking at the opposites. Um, as friend is to... So the opposite of friend could be an enemy, but we're looking for another word that tells us what an enemy could be. Have you heard of this word foe? No. no. Okay, so foe means exactly that. It means somebody you don't like or don't get on with. So a friend is somebody close to you, but a foe is your enemy. Does that make sense? Yeah, okay. Good girl, well done. Um, thanks for that, Romesa. And let's go to the next one. So let's have a look at these. So there's certain patterns in these words. So. Identify the two words, one from each group that will complete the sentence in the best way, then choose the correct option. So I would say bride is to groom. So a bride is a lady when she's getting married, okay? And the groom is the man who's getting married to the bride, all right? And car and horse is to cart, because when you have a horse at the front and a cart at the back, then in the cart, you could be sat at the car and you could be riding the horse and you could have other materials on the car as well. Okay. So this one, uh, river is to, I would go with stream. Okay. Because a river is similar to a stream. And uh, a tree 
is to wood, snap or twig, I would go for wood. Actually, let me go back there a second, one second. I think I made a small error. River is to water, sorry, as tree is to wood. So the river comes from water and a tree comes from wood, okay? Let's try another one here. So car is to garage oil road or train is to steam track and diesel. So we'll say that a car is to road because a car drives on a road and a train travels on a train track. Okay. And a verb could be turned into an adverb. So a verb is like an action word or a doing word. An adverb kind of describes the verb, whereas an adjective describes a noun. Okay, so adverb describes a verb and an adjective always describes a noun. Uh, in this case, we're coming to some new questions. So in the line below, identify the one word that would come in the middle if all five words were arranged in order of size. Okay, so if you were to put these in order of size from the smallest, I would go for P first, P, it's like peas. So P is really small. Then I would go for a marble then I would go for a golf ball, then I would go for a cricket ball, and then I would go with a football. So the ball that's the medium size in the middle, remember the word middle, which is the key word in our sentence here, is going to be a golf ball in terms of size. So here, if you were to put these animals in order of size, so ant will be the smallest, then we'll have a mouse, then we'll have a cat, then bigger than a cat will be a wolf, then bigger than a wolf will be a horse. So if you were to arrange these from smallest to biggest, then the animal in the middle will be a cat. So now we're moving on to some numbers. So if you were to put these numbers in order of size first, this is how I would do it. So this would be the smallest number, 4.5p. The second biggest number, is going to be this one and then this one even though they mean pretty much the same thing all right then it's this one and then it's this one so i would go for 45p here as the middle number if you were to put the numbers in order of size smallest to biggest so these words here so the first word is minute minute means exceptionally small all right and large we know massive we know it's very big average is in the middle and small is very very small so i would go for average because average as a word also means the same as middle sized as well okay here uh, a rat uh, sorry a beetle is the smallest then we have a rat then we have a goat then we have a tiger and then we have an elephant so goat will be the middle size animal that we're looking for there okay so here we're rearranging each word in capital letters on the left to make a brand new word which is connected in some way with three words in brackets okay so let's get some uh, feedback from you all for this one let's go to let's go to isa ashraf hi sir hello Hi there. So we, we, we're rearranging, sorry, the first word into a word that will fit with the other three words as well. Would it be C? V v v vase. Vase, okay. <clears throat> so vase, so it's spelled like this, V-A-S-E. So a vase is uh, like an ornament where you can put in uh, flowers as well, as well as water. So you see how we change this from save to vase. Now the, va the, the word vase can go and connect with all three of these. So yes, vase is correct, Isa, well done. Um, and have a go at the next one as well. Um, is it evil? Because if you're evil, you're nasty, wrong and horrible. That's good, well done. And let's do one more. Um, team. So if you were to rearrange mate, uh, we could rearrange it to team, T-E-A-M, and that means the same as groups, sports, and 
working together as a team as well. So I would go for that one as well. All right. Thanks for that, Isa. Thank you. Um, and let's just go to, let's go to a seed for the next one. I'll come back to you, so okay. Have a seat. Yeah. Hi there. So why don't you turn these words around exactly? Turn them into the opposites. Back to front. What do you think that will make? Pool. Pool, okay, let's try that. Pool, okay, so pool could be water, yes, because in a pool there's water. Could be a pond, that's right, because a pond is like a pool of water. And it could also be rain as well, because the rain is also connected with pool. So yes, you're right. So let's go for which option are you gonna go for? A, B, C, or D? D. Okay, let's go for that then. Let's go for D. Well done. And try this one as well. Step. Step. Okay, let's see if that works. Step. All right, so concrete steps, yes. Stair, yes. Well, steps are part of the staircase. And steps take you upwards, don't they? So step will be correct. Which option am I going for? Which option am I going for? Um, B. B, okay. Good lad, so say it well done. Thank you very much for this. And uh, we're on the next type of questions now. So for this one, there are three words in the first group while one word is missing in the second group. Identify the missing words in the second group that should go together in the same way as the three words in the first group. So let me just show you how I would do this, how would I, I would work this out. So I would go for, let, let's number these, one, two, three, four. Let's number these letters first of all, five, six, seven, eight. So let's look at the first line first of all. So the word hark is made from the letter one. Can you see one is H and one, we just put one there. Uh, two, uh, a is made from two, and it could be also be made from six. R is made from three or seven, and K is just made from eight. So if you were to number these as well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then we can check what H is made from. So H is made from one, so here C is going to be one, okay? So we go for the word letter C, because it's one, then we're going, we're looking for the letter A. So we just put the A there. And then RK, RK will be the last two letters. So it'll be the last two letters here as well, LM. And that's how we make the word car. All right. So it's got a different patterns for each one. Um, let's have a look at this one. Let's go to Isatarik with this one. Hello. Hi, sir. Hi. Hello. I, th I think this one is, I think it's, I think, I think it's a bear. Bear? Yeah, okay. Bear. All right. So let's check if you're right. So we'll go for the first two. So here we have PU at the, at the beginning and that's where you get PU. So we go for BE then. So let's just write that down, BE. Now the last two letters are SH, SH. So we go for the last two letters here, AR. Yeah, I think you're right. What are you say? We go for bear, hold on. Have a go at this one as well. I think it's Maya. Maya, okay, let's check this. So uh, you have CA at the beginning, CA is there. And then you have SH at the end, SH there. So let's go for the first two here and the last two there. Yeah, that makes sense, well done. We'll go for Maya. Good. Thank you very much, Isa. 
Okay, and let's go to Lisa for the next one. Um, would it be, um, would it be train? Train, yes, it will be. Let's just double check that. Um, so we have TH from the beginning here, okay? So we're gonna go for the first two letters here, TR. And then we've got the last three letters, I and K from the end here. Um, and we'll go in this case with the last three letters here as well. Yeah, pretty good, huh? <laughs> pretty good. That makes sense. So we'll go for train, well done. And have a go at this one as well, Lisa. Um, would it be um, um, so you've got the first first three letters here, first three letters there, right? Yeah. So we go for the first three letters here as well then, which is B, R, U. And then we've got the last two letters here. Can you see that? S, T, which comes yeah. from here. Mm -hmm. and, and then we can just use the last two letters there and stick that at the end. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that will give us brush. Did that make sense? Yeah. Well done. Good. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. And uh, let's just have a few more before we wrap up for today. We've just got five questions left. Let's go to, um, okay, only one of the words given in the options can be formed using the letters of the word in capital letters. Given below, identify the word and choose the correct option. So in this case, let's have a few feedback. Okay, I can see a few people have got their hands up as well. So let's go to Ruby Kate. Hello. Hi Ruby. Can you do you know how to work this one out? Um I think I do. Yeah. Um I think it would be C. C Tang. So we've got yeah. T, we've got A, we've got N in there, and we've got G as well. Yes, well done, Ruby Kate. Thank you. And let's go to uh, let's go to uh, Hafsa for this one. Hello, Hafsa. Yeah. So you see these words uh, A, B, C, D, and E. Yeah. One of these words. We can make A, B, C, D, or E from that word experience. Only one of them we can make from the word experience. Okay. So it has to have exact letters from the word experience. Can you tell us which one it must possibly be? Okay. Um, express. Express so E and X is there, P is there, R is there, E is there, but there's no S's in that word, uh, Hafsa. In experience, there are no S's. So try one more time. Express. I said express. Express. Yes. Yeah. So there's no there's no S in the word experience. Can you see? Express. Did you say express? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So if you look at the word experience, is there any S in there? No. no, so you can't make that word. So try another one. Presence. Presence, presence, presence. P, R is there, E is there. Is S there? Um, yes, there's one um, after E. Yeah, but is the word, is the letter S in the word experience? No. No, so we can't take that either, I'm afraid. Science. Is the word S there in experience? Um, there's no the S in science. Science, there's no S. 
that there is, the first letter is S. Can you see? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Peer? Let's try that. So we've got P. Uh, let me just mark that down. So we've got P, we've got E, we've got E, and we've got R. There you go. So you can make it, can't you? Yes. Yeah? Well done. Well, good. Does that make sense now? Do you understand how to do that now? Uh, a little bit. Let's try another one then. Okay. Check this particular word. Can this be made from digestion? Um, Do we have an S? Yes. Do we have a T? Yes. Do we have an O? Yes. Do we have an N? Um, yes. Do we have an E? Yes. Excellent. Well done. So stone will be it. Let's go for that one then. Let's pick that one. Okay, two more questions left. Let's just finish this off together now. So, so uh, try this one. Can you make this word from this particular word pleasing? Um. So, do we have an S? Yes. Do we have an I? Yes. Do we have an N? Yes. Do we have a G? Yes. L? Um, yes. I'm e? Yes. Good. Okay, there we go. So single will be the correct answer. All right, let's do one last one. A surgeon. A surgeon is somebody who works in a hospital and who does very major operations. Um, so let's have a look at this. Can we make this particular word? Um, um, hold on one second. This one? Yes, you can. Yeah, so, okay then, so let's, S is there, U is there, R is there, and E is there as well. Okay, you happy with that? Yes. Yeah? Okay, good stuff. So, there we go. So, uh, that was pretty much it. All right, 50 questions covered in one class. And remember that this is actually a topic, this is an assessment that you only did about a month and a half ago. So, we're just recapping these assessments. Hafsa, Aliza, Emily. Uh, that you're doing this for the first time. So um, in your case, obviously, I understand that these are new questions. But the rest of you had this practice, and the second time around, you actually got much better results than you did the first time around. So well done. So what we have to do is sometimes we do normal work, but we mix it up with normal assessments as well, just to get that extra, extra exam practice. All right. So well done, everybody. Well done. Thank you. And look after yourself.